Hi everyone, Sidra here, and welcome back to Dragon Warrior 1. Hopefully with better sound balance <laughs> this episode. Don't know what happened last episode, but looks better on on my end. Looked okay last time, so that's what that's worth. Today we are going to head back into the cave. We are level 16. There is stats, 76 strength, 72 agility, 35 guard, 96 attack, 74 defense. We now know the repel spell. Or repeal, repel. Uh, what it does is... What it sounds like, it, it makes the enemies stay back. It will stop weaker enemies from attacking you. For a short period of time. Oh, I don't plan on dying this time. Should be able to take everything in here. <laughs> should. Keyword. I was fighting it while leveling up, so I should be able to. We'll cast Radiant. And let's start exploring this place again. I don't remember exactly where the stairs were. But definitely nothing on this first floor should give us any problems. <coughs> I put at the beginning of the episode that you saw that uh, I actually beat a metal slime once, the other handful of times it got away. But I got a crit once, and it died, so 775 EXP. As I said, they're worth a lot of EXP. And also put the level 16 stats that I got. You able to see that too, we got a lot of MP, you saw that. Now we have 80, 89 MP max. Of course, because I cast the two for Radiant. So let's try to find the the uh, harp that's in here. Get rid of you. <laughs> I mean, we go ahead and pick that up. Since I was here in in town to head back south anyway, or I was I was already south. I came back here to heal. But you know what? I can go ahead and grab this. So that dead end. It's a dead end. Hope all of you are having a good day today. And these enemies will not be an issue. We'll see how it goes when we get further down. <laughs> we also know the outside spell now, which is really good. So we'll just be able to, when we find the item, we will just be able to get out and we won't have to backtrack all the way through. All the way back through. Well, let's head... Not that way, apparently. Head this way. I'm trying to remember where the stairs were and I don't remember. Through the, uh, closed, closed gate. <clears throat> Probably a good bet. This with how many keys? Three keys. Okay. As long as I have one, <clears throat> I could always go back and uh, buy some from uh, Tantigo Castle. Okay, stairs down. Next set and radiant. <laughs> decides to do a fade a bit. Hey, see, we got a bunch of cash. We're gonna need it. This just dead ends, right? There's nothing here. Yes. Skeleton's still not a problem. It'll be when we get to the the third floor, like last time. But this time, we've got several more levels. I was level ten, I think, so six more levels and uh, better equipment. Okay, let's see where this takes us. All right, Wolf Lord. You go down in one, two now, by the way. Not one, two, just in one as well. <laughs> Spe 
Spectre. We haven't seen this. This is a stronger Poltergeist. I believe it can cast the uh, Hurt spell or Fireball. In this case. So be careful about that. It's over there. Here's the dead knight. Probably the strongest thing in here. If it heals its first round, it's dead. Because we swing that hard now. Good job, me. <laughs> Hopefully all of you are saying good job to me as well. That'd be nice. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> good job, Syndrome. <laughs> Hopefully I'll read that message. You're not dying to the Dead Knights anymore. Wolf Lord is unaware. That's even better. Ooh, 39 kills it. Okay. So 37 was just a... Or it died to 37. Yeah. I have to get to the Dead Knight. Uh, let's look down here. I'm going to go more to the left. Okay. No problem. We get 80 gold and 52 EXP. Speaking of, EXP, 3,227 EXP, and then she says I love you. Thanks, Finn. <laughs> There's stairs up. Uh, 343 gold. Okay, more money. We need it. Uh, we got money. Dead Knight is unaware. Fantastic. That ends that fight. Hmm. Recast Radiant. I can see that extra square. That. Oh, no. We haven't been here yet. I haven't seen that pool of water there. Uh, Alright. We can go back up. And we could try to find a different way down from here. And that may lead us to where... Where the harp is. Because you can see where the harp is. It's in that room. Sometimes you have to do this in Dragon Warrior. Yeah, see, her stairs down. Or are those the stairs down that I had taken before already? Oh no, here's more stairs down. Okay. Okay, even more stairs down. Hydra, uh, it's Hydra Lord. And it goes down, so we're gonna face even stronger enemies here, probably. So, we need to find, find stairs and, you know, though it's still going down in one, since we're, we got a lot more levels than we had the first time here. And we get some really spooky music. There's stairs. That probably leads to it. You had to go down, what was this floor? This would be the fourth floor now, so you had to go down even further and then back up. Sometimes you have to do that. This will be a really big thing in the last, uh, in the final dungeon. Yeah, here we go. There it is. Oh, it gets its own fancy, uh, it's not in the box. It's its own spray. What's this? The shiny harp? Yay! Shiny harp. I think it was silver harp. Oh, I can't read the, uh, that's just the tune. Alright, that's everything. Um, outside. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and rest at the end.
Yay. Okay. Good stuff. Let's head back south. Actually, you know what? Let's go save. <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. And instead of walking there... back. We'll buy some more keys while we're here as well. That's a good idea. Let's do all of that. Let's get it this way. Now that we have the harp, you can actually use the harp as an item. I'll show off what it does. This way. That's why I said I had to have at least one key. <laughs> you have to have a key here to buy more keys. Okay. Now we'll see. Well, I also actually just go turn in this, uh, this harp to get the item we need. But I'll show that you can actually use the harp as an item. Good stuff. The harp, when used as an item, will cause a battle to occur. <laughs> this would be really useful if after the first time, or like you could, this is an old game, so you don't really have options like this back then, but uh, make to where it just instantly starts the battle instead of hearing the harp, but you hear the harp every time. To turn in the harp, we have to head back east. It can still be faster than, than, um, walking around waiting for a battle. But you actually have advantage, an advantage walking around waiting for a battle. Remember, we heal HP now every couple of steps. So let's head up here. I believe the guy was over here that was like, go away unless you have the heart. I believe he's up here. Let's see if I remember this right. We visited him once and I think it was up here. So you found the shiny harp. I've waited a long time for a young man like you to arrive. I'm not going to just badmouth you and send you away. Now, open the chest. We get the rain staff. So we have the sunstone and the rain staff. If darkness is the shining the road, the souls of people will soon turn as black as the darkness. That must never be allowed to happen. Go, go where rain and sun come together. That is the third sage. <clears throat> he will ask for the stones of sun of sunlight. Or that's what it was called in the old time. <laughs> uh, in the NES version. Um, he asks for the sunstone and the rain staff. We have both of those now. 
But he's gonna ask for something else. He's gonna ask that we prove ourselves as a uh, descendant of Lodo. We have no such proof. Not yet, anyway. We'll be working on that the next place we go, which will be... <clears throat> which will be back down south, where things went terribly wrong the first time. Hopefully not this time. Let's cast a return. I don't know why I'm still walking. So for now, we're just going to store the... Uh, just gonna store the rings. Hold on to the rings. Is there anything else? Oops. I want to exit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I can just stay at the end. It's three gold. Now, we need to head back south again where things went terribly wrong. One more level would really, really help me out. I think it's just one more level. Let's, see, but let's go ahead and head, head that way and see how things go. Spooky. All these enemies, of course, are way too weak. <laughs> to be threatening. Soon that will change. Okay, head over here. Cross this bridge. Now stronger. Er, enemies will appear, but still, no match now. <laughs> Spooky? Not really, though. I should have just casted Repel. It's a bit late now. I could have shown off uh, Repel and then you would have seen... Uh... We've seen how it worked. Regular Wervin we can still take care of. And get quite a bit of EXP and cash. Wolf Lord, we can take care of and get quite a bit of EXP and cash. We'll be back to that place later, a little later. Alright, how much till the next level? 2,716 EXP. It's a lot of EXP. Magic Warren, I don't think I won... One shot those. Nope. And I didn't fall asleep. Good. <laughs> Some of you may think I do when I don't have anything to say, but I don't, I promise. I'm not just secretly taking a really short nap. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't think of anything to say. Shadow Knight? 21 damage. Jeez, they still hurt really. Still hurt a lot. With a good amount of EXP, though. Let's see if I could find a metal slime and get lucky with that, a critical hit. Why weren't you a metal slime? That would have been perfect. <laughs> would have been perfect. So this is where I, I just wandered around and, get, and gathered levels. It was right here where I got to level 16. Because there's a metal slime. Oh, cast it hurt. 
miss, but it's not really a miss. It's just that you're not doing any damage. Oh, there we go. There's one. And it leaves. The more damage you do, you do to it, the more chance it leaves. Really, you need a critical hit. That's that's what's going to beat the Metal Slime. Because the Metal Slime has, I believe it's 4 HP. That's typically the norm. Is that it has, a Metal Slime has 4 HP. Which means you have to hit it four times. <laughs> and it's more than likely going to run away before then. So you need, you, you need to get a critical hit. So you just have to get lucky. But if you do, it's 775 EXP. It's almost it's almost ten times what that enemy just gave. So it's it's ten fights in one. I mean that's no small no small amount of EXP. This is also where the magic um, armor can come come in handy. You see, we're at 81 uh, HP when we finish that fight. If the enemy takes a little bit to, to fight you, we're at 91. We gain 10 HP. It will. It can save you on a healing spell or or three or more, depending on just how how much the enemy does to you and how often they attack. And if you catch an enemy unaware, like that, you get the first strike. All this is just free. You got free EXP and money. Oh, instantly fled. Sometimes that happens. Plus, we're able to get more HP back by walking. It's really useful. It was really expensive, but it's really useful. It's the second best armor in the game. The best armor in the game will get a little later. If only the Shadow Knight didn't hit so hard. Because <laughs> I know the Star Warbin is going to hit just as hard, if not a little harder, so... That's not great. Because <laughs> we'll be running, running into those again. Just hurt. Miss. There's one. And it leaves. It did. It, it does some damage and then leaves. That's the worst case scenario with the Metal Slime. Also not great when it just flees like that. <laughs> oh, and there's a Shadow. You see, it won't. It doesn't take too long to to level here. Eight hundred EXP. Again, this is even shorter if you can find a a metal slime and get get a lucky critical hit. But I would rather do this and be prepared than suffer defeat again and lose half the cash that that I've gathered, which is almost 18k at this point. <laughs> and we're gonna need every single gold coin of that. I assure you. Oh, see, that's that's bad when the sh when you miss the Shadow Knight, just because it does so much damage. But anyway, I wanted to go over all of that. Because I don't... I don't think I went into that... that big a detail of this area right right here and it's a it's a good one to use to to level up anyway i'm gonna cut this episode short next time we're gonna cross the bridge and try our luck again after i hit level 17 yay um until the next episode thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you had a lot of fun i'm sandra 9 remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone <laughs>